Hello, this is Jonathan Hostetler, and I'm here today with some spirulina and some chlorella. These are both two different types of algae, not the kind of algae you get from the side of your fish tank, but actually it is harvest, grown and harvested in large ponds, very minimally processed, they're not chemically altered, they're just harvested in such a way that it can be put into powder form, which is what we have here, or tablet and capsule form. I'll be showing you here how to put these two together so that you can have a drink, a good healthy drink that can keep your body strong, help you combat diseases, or just maintain a good, strong, healthy body. First of all, we have some spirulina here. Spirulina, among all its other nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that it offers, it has a good bit of protein in it. Protein obviously is good for building strong, healthy muscles and just keeping the body uh, in shape in general. A lot of times people depend on meats for protein, but it's also available in a lot of greens, spirulina being one of them. Chlorella is also a very healthy substance. It is uh, very potent in DNA, as well as the chlorella growth factor. Now the chlorella growth factor is unique to, to chlorella, and as well as being ingested internally, it can be applied externally, and it helps to regenerate tissues, skin namely. So if you have a wound or a rash or something of that nature on your skin, apply some of this with a little bit of water on it, and see how it helps to, to regenerate the tissue. But it also works internally as well to help your organs regenerate themselves, muscles, tissues, everything like that. Together, these two work together in an amazing way to provide a host of health benefits. People that are trying to overcome a whole bunch of diseases can use these to do so. Or if you're like me, with no particular diseases or, or any type of ailments, and you just want to maintain a good healthy body, these do a good job of, of helping you do that. So I'm going to be mixing these two together. What I typically do is have two parts spirulina, which is this over here, to one part chlorella. Now I put about two teaspoons of spirulina in here first. This is about two teaspoons. Maybe I'll add a little bit more here. There we go. And chlorella, about a teaspoon or so of that. There we go. And as you can see, before you even mix it, it's already starting to get a little bit green there. It's a very dark green substance. Green is good. It does have a little bit of a taste to it. You'll have to get used to. It only took me about a week or so to really acquire the taste and start enjoying it. Now, it's, um, I enjoy it as a very nutritious, um, energizing, actually really refreshing drink. You can just sip it or guzzle it or however you prefer to drink it. Now, powder is not the only form you can get spirulina and chlorella in. You can also get it in tablet form and capsule form. In those forms, you still do get a good bit of nutrition with them. I just personally believe that uh, powder and water, or rather just liquids, is a better way to assimilate the nutrients and, and vitamins in a, a substance than in a pill form, because it's dent a pill form is dense and it doesn't digest as easily. And plus, you don't get all the, the tasty benefits of pluralin and spirulina if you have it in the pill form. So I enjoy this method here. Although this may be one of the first times you've heard about spirulina and chlorella, it actually is quite popular in the health circles, especially among health enthusiasts. Um, spirulina and chlorella are available on many websites online uh, in, in the three forms that I mentioned, powder, capsules, and tablets. And most likely at your local health food store you can get them as well, or maybe they can special order them for you. Now they can get very expensive if you get it in the, in the, pow in the, um, the capsule or, or uh, tablet form. That's one of the reasons I prefer the powder form. I get it from nutsonline.com. I've found they have the best price for $50. I get two pounds, this is one pound here, two pounds of, of spirulina, so two of these packages with one pound of chlorella, one of these bags. Uh, it's about $50 plus shipping for that, and that lasts me typically about 45 to 60 days if I drink about one or two of these glasses a day. Now, if you're just maintaining a good healthy body, I'd recommend about one or two of these a day. Anything less than that, if you just you know put a little bit of powder in, even though it's very a very potent nutritious substance, you're not going to get the, the the big health benefits um, you would if you have if you have it in larger quantities. Just like if you have a sliver of a carrot every day, you're not going to get the full value of a carrot. So if you're uh, combating a disease or you're an athlete and you want to get a healthy uh, boost of energy, you can have more than two of these two glasses of these a day. You can have really as much as your body is able to handle. It's, there's not there's no uh, risk of overdosing. It's regular food, just like a carrot or, or onion or or uh, orange.
damage or anything like that. Uh, I would recommend that you build up to the amount you're looking to, to ingest just because, just to help your body get used to the, to the substance. It is, it is a very unique substance. So wherever you get it, whatever form you get it, I hope you enjoy the benefits of chlorella and spirulina. I encourage you to try it if you haven't already done so. Tastes great after you get used to it. Just a mental thing. Enjoy it. And uh, thanks for listening to the video and have an excellent day. God bless. Delicious. See ya.